Yes, that is right. I bought membership for a 17 year old game. So here's the thing, right? To fully understand the method to my madness, I'm going to have to tell you a little about myself. So here it goes. I'm currently a student studying. No, not that young. Or that. Ah, that's better. I'm a university student, which means I'm in a mountain of debt as I try to find out what I want to do with my life. To help myself out, I picked up a job. Well, two, but that's for a different story. And this one involves me working part-time at my university's library. Mostly night shifts, and I mostly tidy up stock shelves and help students after hours, since the library is 24-7 hour access. On shifts where there is not much to do, I find myself one of these beauties, oh boy, and find ways to pass the time. Since these PCs are ancient and owned by an education establishment, oh, kind of impressed myself there, the chance of installing and running games is next to none, so I had to think, what can I play? As soon as I started playing .io games such as Agario, Sliver.io and Cronker.io, among many others, for a while, this kept me entertained, and I still go back to these from time to time, but I was still missing something. This is where I had the smart idea. How did I entertain myself when I was much younger? And besides such classics such as spinning around in circles till I fall over, or getting my head kicked in by a football, I was never really any good at sports, go figure. Hmm. I remembered holy grails such as flash sites. Soon I was frequently visiting sites such as Newgrounds, Congregate, even CoolMathGames.com and this saturated my need for entertainment for a while. But I was still missing something that I could not figure it out yet. Well, that is until... That's right. I remembered that I can play browser games, which I used to spend the majority of my time doing when I was younger. So I had to think about what games I remembered playing at and loving at the time. These included RuneScape, Habo Hotel, Club Penguin, and finally Adventure Quest. See, I had you going there, didn't I? Think this was going to be a RuneScape video, but no. I bought the X Guardian membership for Adventure Quest. For those of you who do not know what a gem of a game this is, Adventure Quest is an online flash based single player role playing video game that started in 2002. The gameplay is similar to that of traditional RPGs in that it revolves around fighting monsters in a turn based system. As players defeat monsters they gain experience points, gold and occasionally Z tokens. Most fights begin through random encounters and quests, which can be found throughout the game, with the ability to buy weapons, armors, spells, and even pets. Furthermore, those who grinded enough are parted with a bit of real life currency. Players can purchase houses with Z tokens, where players can decorate and gather resources, such as health potions and mana. I created my character and started my adventure. Besides for my quick tutorial to introduce the game and death mechanics, even quicker than you Bloodborne, you are sent to the town of Batalon, which is the main hub for all players. And this is how it used to look like back in the day, which eventually evolved to look like this. The main places of interest in Batalon include Yolga's Inn, a place where you can buy weapons and armours and pick up quests, Arya's pet shop, which unsurprisingly you could buy pets, Warlick's magic shop, where you could buy spells and staffs, Rabina Hood's archery shop for all your ranged needs, and finally the most predominant feature, the Guardian Tower. And this is the part where I talk about Guardianship. Guardianship, which can be purchased for a one time fee of $19.95 gives players access to premium content, guardians get access to an upgraded level cap from 135 to 150, as well as go to more locations in the game that adventurers can't, 
such as the previously mentioned Guardian Tower, as well as gain access to exclusive items and quests. If you really wanted to be the best, I know your parents, credit card numbers and the funny little three digits on the back, then you can upgrade this membership and become an ex-Guardian, which features even more in-game advantages such as faster XP gain. Of course, as a child I didn't have access to these, so as if to flex on my younger self, I bought ex-Guardian membership. Not only did I now have access to cool new armour, Guardian weapons and even this pet, I even got a 15% XP boost which made the game a little, no really, just a little more forgiving. Unfortunately, the game has pretty much most content available to you from the moment you go in. So I decided to google what order to play the game and came across a little list which told me to visit Yangheland, apologies if I butchered that. A quest made so early that it still features the old style graphics and oh, you do how much damage? None of the quests are marked with level requirements, so monsters can be random and go from level 5 to 35 without warning the player, so get used to a lot of this, 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 and this, which eventually led to me purchasing Guardian membership where... Oh really, you're still going to do this? With the added content, pets, weapons and equipment, added with my XP boost, I've been making myself stronger and battling monsters. I even bought myself a little house. In conclusion, my adventure is only just beginning and with a game that I fell in love with as a child and can still experience today, I spent my money and bought the Guardian membership. Now if anyone wants to find me, I'll be chilling in my log cabin in the forest. This has been my story of why I bought membership for a now 17 year old game. That's 3 years younger than I am. This has been The Complete Brit. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this sort of content as it really helps me to make content you like and feel free to contact me on various social media. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.